This channel, and this channel, on YouTube Shorts and TikTok getting millions of views and thousands of subscribers, just by telling stories with historical figures using the power of AI. These two channels have absolutely exploded, going from zero to over 200,000 subscribers in five months. For example, this channel has collect over 34 million views in this period and earns between $8,000 and $136,000 per month, according to Social Blade. Additionally, this channel has amassed more than 15 million views and earns between $3,000 and $62,000 per month. And these videos truly engage the audience insanely, I will show you how to create these videos so you can attract views through social media. Let's start. First, go to this channel and choose a video, I'll choose this video, right click, and select copy link address. Next, go to dapdab.com, which will allow you to transcribe the entire video. Create an account, then click on studio. Afterward, click on transcription, go to video link, paste the link you copied, and click on transcribe. DapDab will transcribe the entire video, presenting everything that is said in the video in front of you. Copy the entire text and go to ChatGPT and write, can you reword this, and paste the text. ChatGPT will provide you with a similar story to the one you provided. Once it's done, ask ChatGPT to give you prompts to generate images for the entire story on Leonardo AI by typing this, and click on enter. Now we're going to move on to image generation. The platform we'll be using is Leonardo AI. I will leave this script in the description box. Through this script, we will ask Leonardo AI to give us with hyperreal images. In the negative prompt section, we request not to give us images of humans with two heads, distorted figures, or with a missing finger on one hand. Copy the first prompt from ChatGPT, and paste it into the first part of the script, as you see it here on Leonardo. After that, don't change anything in the settings, next, click on Generate. Leonardo AI will generate the first image. Now, let's move on to the second prompt, copy the second prompt and paste it in place of the first prompt on Leonardo while keeping our script, then, click on Generate, I've made some changes to this script, and I'll leave you with the latest modification, it has given me good results, and I've chosen two images for each generation, here's the result it gave me and I like it, next. Do the same thing for the third prompt, copy it and paste it into the first part of the script, then click, generate, the images look very realistic, continue in the same way, if the photos suit you, generate just one photo for each generation so that you can generate multiple images, you can ask Leonardo to generate an image while keeping the same character from another image, keep going in the same way, and if you're not satisfied with the results. Start from the beginning until you find the images that suit you. Great, now you can download all these images and number them as needed. Now, let's move on to the voiceover. We're returning to DubDub. Then, click on text-to-speech, choose a new file, click on the speaker profile and type Albi Wood in this section choose this speaker. Choose the chat style, then go back to ChatGPT, copy the entire story, and paste it into DubDub. Remove all spaces, and finally, click on Preview to see the result. In the year 60 AD, the formidable British Queen Boutica emerged as the leader of one of the most significant uprisings in Roman history. Good, then click on export to download the audio. Choose MP3 and click on export. Now, the important part. In this section, we will use the CapCut software. Add the audio you just downloaded and drag it into the timeline. Then, remove the spaces in the audio so that the speaker doesn't pause while talking. Now, select all the images that Leonardo AI generated and drag them into CapCut, then, drag the first image onto the timeline, after that, resize the image in the timeline by going to the aspect ratio and choosing 916 as a mobile phone size, next, try to adjust the image size. 
Do the same thing for the other images and try to adjust them nicely on the screen. Now, let's move on to transitions and animations. Go to transitions, start with the left transition, and add it between the two images, to apply an animation, click on the image, go to the left side of the screen, and click on animation. Apply the shake one animation, for the second image, choose right, place it between the two images, and select shake three as the animation. Honestly, try to choose transitions and animations that you think are more compatible with the subject and the images you have. For me, I liked these transitions and animations that I applied. Let's see how it looks like now. Fearless queens who exacted the ultimate vengeance for the sake of their offspring in the year 60 AD. Now, let's move on to the filters. To apply the filters, go to the filter section, choose the clear filter, and drag it into the timeline. Apply this filter to the entire project. Now, let's move on to the effects. To apply the effects, go to the effects section where you will find many effects. I will choose the fire effect for anything related to war or a similar event. Honestly, I tried to select the effects that I found most suitable for my images. Look for the effect you like and apply it, either to a single image or to multiple images at once. You can also apply two or more effects to a single image if you want. Now, let's move on to subtitles. To apply subtitles, go to the text section at the top, then click on auto caption. Leave it set to English, check clear current subtitles, and finally, click on create. CapCut will automatically generate subtitles for the audio. Then, reduce the timeline and make sure you've selected all the subtitles. In the animation section, go to caption and choose the last option, pop up, so that the subtitles will be displayed word by word. Next, increase the font size, and change the font style to one called bangers. Try to play the video to check if the font size is suitable for the screen. If not, reduce it slightly until it fits the screen properly. Now, let's move on to the final step, which is adding music. Music is crucial as it engages viewers and keeps them watching until the end of the video, I recommend using the website ToonTank.com, you have 3 free music downloads per month, but we only need one. On this site, you'll find many categories, or you can use a beautiful music piece that matches our video style called Epic. Click on Download to get the music, then add it to the CapCut timeline and reduce the volume slightly. And finally, Fearless queens who exacted the ultimate vengeance for the sake of their offspring. In the year 60 AD, the formidable British Queen Boutica emerged as the leader of one of the most significant uprisings in Roman history. This uprising was sparked by a series of egregious injustices. Following the death of her husband, the Romans forcibly seized control of her tribe, subjecting her daughters to a public flogging. In a bold act of reprisal, Queen Boutica assembled a colossal army and reduced numerous Roman cities to ashes. Although she was ultimately defeated, a prominent Roman historian recorded Reported that the entire devastation brought upon the Romans had been caused by a woman, a fact that brought them immense shame for generations to come. Princess Nzinga's life took a tragic turn when her father passed away.